quality. Slight delay because YouTube is garbage. But that is only for a very specific viewer who can't watch it on Twitch. Do I want any holes? I probably want to start re researching additional holes as well. All we can research is destroyer holes, but... Oh no, we can get cruisers as well. Hmm. We can get a UK cruiser. Hmm. Hmm. When do you get the USS Silly Joe? Uh, when I build the USS Silly Joe. We've already got a UK Destroyer 1, so I don't care about any of that other stuff. Not enough for that, either. Can we get any better sonar? We can. We can get sonar 4. I should probably go ahead and start researching a better, better um, systems as well. And I'll show off a little feature. Although actually it's not going to really help me. If you spend money again on something you've already selected to research, which is these orange ones here, uh, it will fast or auto research it basically. So we're basically doubling our sonar ability for the cost of an additional 237. But I'm not sure if that's actually worth it. The ship from yesterday's video. Yes, I get the ship from yesterday's video when I make the ship from yesterday's video. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just do that. I don't actually want to fast forward it because I don't think that's really worth it. Or fast research it, whatever. End R&D. It'll be like 30 hours before I actually build ships like the ones you saw yesterday or earlier today. Um, we researched better engines and stuff. We could put that on. I'm not going to, though. Because I'm silly. Silly Joe 2. It would make me a little bit faster, you know, that kind of thing. But, eh. I don't really care. I'll put it on next All mission. Alert. Full speed ahead. Step one. Secondary go this way. Added. Notice the size of this map. Notice the speed at which I move in the minimap. It's a really big map. <laughs> and that's a, there's a reason for that. It reuses maps. So you'll have several missions in any given area on the same map. Although this mission goes from here all the way up into that northwest-ish corner over there, so... I'm going to have you, SS Orioli. Orioli Oli. One is enough. I need to stop firing two of these when one of them is enough, but whatever. And we have to kill basically everything on this path, because this is the path the transports are going to be taking. It's freaking delayed depth charge bollocks. Can't handle it. Oh, if you think this is very silly maneuvering speed, just wait until we get systems that boost your ability to turn. And there is our transports up there. And these guys are out of range, so there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, I could shoot over there, but it's not going to make it. Not really a reason to. They're just out of range, though. Hello. I have a depth charge with your name written on it. That's a dead angle. Why is that a dead angle? I don't know. I right, shot two again. Gosh darn it! You stop shooting too much. There's a lot of different systems you can get. You can get things that increase your reload, decrease your dispersion, increase your turning ability, straight up increase your speed. There's a lot of different things you can get. Enter engagement mode. Still out of range, I think. I'm not out of their range, probably because they have bigger guns than I do. I think the AI t starts with like 15 centimeter guns, so they have slightly more range. What are those? DD Scots. That's the only one in my range, apparently. 
I don't even know why I'm bothering to shoot from this range. I'm not going to hit it very often anyway, as I proceed to hit kill it. <laughs> Jesus. Whatever game. I do need to get closer to him, though. They're freaking three kilometers away. Because my friendly vessels are actually coming into range of them, which is obviously not good. Do you like potatoes? I'm not really a fan of potatoes. I'm also going to spam that boost thing. Yeah, I know. I had to drop funds. Yeah, I know. It's bad that ships are dropping. There's actually a cruiser there. Several cruisers there. I'm losing all my transports. Enemy ships sunk. And we lose, because I'm a dangus. So well done, me. In fact, I may as well just let it force end. Well done, me. That didn't take very long for me to fail a mission. Downside is when you fail, you lose points. You, stu you do get funds. But, you know. If you have difficulties moving ahead, don't be an idiot. Like me. Let's actually go to battle this time. And let's do that. I was just showing you what happens when you fail. That's what I'm going with. Showing you what happens when you fail. Full speed ahead. All hands alert. Let's do it the way I normally do it. How about that? Second normally I ignore the submarines. Back. Maybe that was the problem. Spent too much time on submarines. Why did they ignore you? Because their objective was to destroy the convoy. They don't care about me. I'm sure you were. Yeah, that was the whole plan. Just showing you guys what to do, you know? I'm just gonna mash the up button. It's one of those fancy, like, nuclear-powered boats that have those bursts of speed. Not really. I don't think nuclear-powered boats even have that. Kill that guy in the way. Kill the convoy at all costs. Basically, yeah. Their job was to kill the convoy. They. That's all they had to do. You guys have terrible accuracy. You want to see how bad my accuracy is? Look at mine. Mine's bad too. Enemy ship sunk. Now the AI does tend to have better boats than you. Enemy ship sunk. Uh, but you also have the advantage of being able to shoot like a maniac, so... Enemy ship sunk. You also have slightly Enemy more health. Sunk. Did you die? I know you're a, car or a cruiser, but jeez, man. Enemy ship sunk. Hello! Don't mind Enemy me. Ship sunk. You guys need to learn how to shoot faster. Saying. And I have a bonus objective of destroying 14 destroyers as well, so. Enemy ship sunk. So is that all of the surface boats? It looks like it is. For now, anyway. I know more spawn. Let's pick up all the dinghies around here. Because we're a good light, we're a good guy like that. This is a submarine. Good, good men pick up dinghies. That's our campaign slogan. Enemy reinforcement spotted. Um, I don't remember what that is. I think that's a plane, cargo plane. I can't remember exactly what that actually is or where it goes. Quite frankly. Bring out your dinghies. Raise your dinghies. Please don't raise your dinghies. I gotta remember sometimes submarines actually do drop stuff. I think they always drop dinghies, but I could be mistaken. Oh no, he shot torpedoes at me. I'll just slightly shift my path. Or just have the machine guns blow them up. One of the two! Enemy There's the spotted. reinforcements. Secondary objective added. Your face is added. Enemy ship sunk. I always keep thinking of... Complete. What do you mean any... It's right, there's another one right there. What do you mean enemy submarines destroyed? It's shooting torpedoes at me. That is the definition of not destroyed. 
Does it shoot torpedoes at you? Yes, not destroyed. That's how you determine the definition of things, by the way. I'm gonna start heading towards those other boats here shortly. I did shoot it right away. Whatever. Time to go blow up some destroyers. Whee! And I think our friendly ships are... There they are. The draw distance in this game is astoundingly far, by the way. Admittedly, it doesn't really have anything to draw but the ocean, but the fact that you can see boats so far away is actually really cool. A fish bumped the torpedo and it fired. Hmm. Plus, you can actually use this to determine what's in the distance. Like, say there's boats out there and you don't know what, it, what they are. You can zoom in, look at the general shape of them, and try and figure out what it is. Obviously, those are transports. They've got the big, thick uh, command stack in the center, and they've got the... I don't really know what those are. Like, the kind of tree-like support things? I don't really know what those are. If someone knows what those are, they could tell me. There's some on the front and back of every boat. I don't know what they are, though. Anyway, there's some destroyers in here somewhere. The wallet is unhappy. I'd be surprised if you could still find this game somewhere. And if you could, it probably wouldn't be very expensive, considering it's not like one of those, you know, rare games that everyone wants from the NES or something like that. I already know those are all destroyers, so... DV Holborn! Those are actually different destroyers than the one I was blowing up earlier. They're also much harder to kill. Not that it matters, because they're still destroyers, but you know what I mean. They apparently shoot torpedoes. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about the fact that they shoot torpedoes, but hey. Oh, no, there's some Scots in there. Well, I was going to have to kill a bunch of those. It would been very boring. I think I just accidentally blew up one of the boats. Don't mind me, guys. Just, uh... Shooting you in the side. Stop engine. Reverse engine. Full speed ahead. Stop engine. Reverse engine. Stop engine. Full speed ahead. Stop engine. You guys gonna shoot at me? I know you have rear-facing guns. Don't give me that crap. Whatever, I guess. Maybe they don't have rear-facing guns. I don't know. They have parts. And my objective's complete, so as far as I'm concerned, I could stop shooting people. But I'm not going to, so... Hello, Pharaoh Kid. I'm going to be playing really old games. Enemy ship sunk. And I believe that's all of the boats on the map. There's still that cargo plane wherever it went. I don't know where it goes. It may just skim across the southern edge. A lot of the time they go in places you shouldn't be. So they're really hard to kill. They shot at me before I got behind them. This, yeah. Who's that? Ammunition. Okay. I thought that was like a parts box over there, but nope, it's ammunition. It's really hard to read, but it does say ammunition. Wish that was easier to read. And there's our convoy, so they should be pulling into the victory zone soon enough here. Is that all of our objectives? Yes. So we're done. Let's fire torpedoes. Whee! Torpedoes. Let's watch them go off into the distance. I've already lost them. Yeah, I've already lost them. Let's fire more! There they go. I don't remember how far they go, quite frankly, but they have already gone quite far. We win! Die. We don't need plans. What is this crap? Mission accomplished, and we will draw, because I don't want to do anything else on that map. I will be trying to do all of the objectives as best as possible. Some of them I may not be able to complete, but as far as I'm trying to do, uh, it will be all objectives. Because A, it gives you more funds, and B, it gives you more points. So in general, it just helps. If I was playing normal mode, it would give me S's, which gives me better loot. You know the deal. Anti-mine torpedo. 
I don't really care about mines, much less torpedoes hitting mines. I don't need your crap game. You thought her name was Nazi, hmm. I reject your reality and substitute my own. Oh, Mythbusters. That's, excuse me, that's where I know that from anyway. He's probably got it from somewhere else, but I don't remember where. I just remember Mythbusters, which is a good show. Or was, I haven't watched it in like two years. I don't even know if they're still making new episodes. 80 miles north of Hawaii. Hawaii. The internet. The internet is everything. I don't remember how many missions in before we actually get our first boss encounter. Bosses in this game do not screw around. <laughs> they can kill you fairly easily most of the time. Some of them are really hard to kill as well. Just mostly due to the form they take, some of them are hard to hit. I remember the first one isn't actually that bad. This, the main problem is getting into range, but beyond that it's not that bad. Can you fire nukes? Um, I don't think you can. You can fire really powerful missiles, but I'm pretty sure you can't fire nukes. You can fire also giant energy balls of doom that cause the ocean to literally part before you, but hey. Flying submarine battleship, battleship mega boss tank. That's not really far off from what the bosses are in this game. <laughs> Enemy breaches the defense line. Yeah, I don't actually like this mission either. And this is going to be the mission where we upgrade our engines. I'm telling you, flying submarine battleship mega boss tank isn't very far off of the boss design. I mean, you know, if it wasn't trying to spoil anything, it's possible it might be one of the bosses, who knows. Enemy Tempest sighted. All hands, get ready to sail at 1400 hours. I now have a funny accent. And we've got a bunch of guns now, which is good. And we've got two barrels now as well, which is also very good. Bunch of steam turbines, sonar, not to battle, please. <laughs> Go back into R&D and look at more stuff we can get. Probably want to upgrade the hull. We'll possibly even quickly get some purge systems. Although we already have... Hmm. I mean, we've already got smokestack four. Do we want Smokestack 5? I don't know. We'll have to see what we need there. In fact, before we even spend any funds, let's go ahead and go into design. Ace Combat is awesome. You can play games now and not be a toaster. You mean your computer's not really hot? Mine's always hot. I actually plan to do some Ace Combat games, so... What game am I looking forward to? Uh, you'll have to specify a bit more. Do you mean what game do I look forward to recording, or what game do I look forward to buying and playing? Like a new release. So let's replace these boilers with... Um, I got better boilers, didn't I? I got better steam turbines, that's what I got are heavier, but they're more efficient. So that puts our speed up to 44. And we still don't have a problem with our smokestacks, either. Oh, you don't spend an hour loading. Buying and playing. Uh, quite frankly, I don't really see anything that's coming out, you know, anytime soon that I have any interest in. I'll just keep playing older games in Final Fantasy XIV for now. Ace Combat 3 Electrosphere. 
I was actually thinking of doing uh, Ace Combat Zero and Ace Combat Four, I think is what it was. So I didn't actually get any boilers, did I? No, so we're gonna have to actually look into boilers real quick. Uh, let's replace our systems. Because we got better sonar. What do you mean no systems are available? We got better sonar, didn't we? Yeah. Do you have no systems available, my bum? Apparently we didn't get better radar. Well, eh, whatever. We didn't need radar anyway. GTA 5 was apparently popular. Yeah, but I have no real interest in it. I mean, I can see it's a good game, but I don't really have any interest in it. Uh, what else? Weapons! I wanted to replace the guns on here. They're not gonna fit at all, but I wanted to put them on here anyway. Because we have... Wait, what? No, not replace. Game, why you gotta be so confusing all the time? I want main guns. I thought I got... What? I'm very confused. Design done! Has no cannons. It'll be alright. Do you get infinite aircraft? No. When an aircraft dead when an aircraft dies in a mission, it is dead for that mission. You don't resupply until you get back to the dock. I did get better guns, right? Or was I just reading that wrong? Apparently I was reading that wrong. Oh, we got we got the caliber and the barrels for it, but not the actual gun. What? A, who thought that was a good idea? I'm gonna fast speed this up. It's gonna cost a lot, but I want the gun. And let's get better power. Power is expensive, as it turns out. So we're only getting 18 or 100 more output. Mm. There. And now I'm basically broke. Hooray! Being broke. I still don't, don't understand how we researched the caliber of the gun and the number of barrels on the gun, but we didn't actually research the gun. <laughs> Bra size on boiler. No, you dangus. That means destroyer. You silly people. Now we can use the freaking gun I researched. And the caliber just gives it more damage, more weight, more range, and less dispersion. So, getting increased caliber is good, so long as you can afford it. You get lower uh, reload time. So that's the thing. More barrels, you know, heavier, more damage. Interestingly enough, it actually more than doubles the damage, or uh, more than doubles the weight, but it does not more than double the damage. You'll notice that. So really this is just a space limitation thing. This isn't something you do uh, to increase damage. It's something you do when you have not enough space. Let me put that probably right there. I know it's overlapping with another part. I forgot how to make it go up. Part details. There we go. That's the button I wanted. Increase yield and height. And I want to copy that. There we go. Ah, oh, jeez. Buttons! Why you so confuse me? Part details go down. You know what? I wonder if we can fit three, con three guns here. Hmm. How many guns can we fit on our destroyer? But how many times can I push the wrong button? Oh, we can fit three on the front. Can we fit three on the back? Part details, spin it around, go up. You know the drill. And now I'm actually remembering the buttons! And we can only fit two on the back because we don't have enough space. Hmm. Always more guns, this is true. Alright, that works for me. We've already... oh no, we need to replace our boilers as well. Because I had force researched better ones. So more output increases our speed slightly. Although we're going slower because we weigh more. I could decrease the armor. Oh. Huh. I could take it to none! 
I can go all the way to this before it starts seriously hampering my speed. I will leave it on 10. We'll be squishy with lots of guns. Gun squishy. Wait, what? That's pretty much what this game is. How many guns can you fit on this boat? And now we look more intimidating. Look at that. That is an intimidating vessel if ever there was one right there. 90% of the boat is guns. It's all you need to know. And we should be good now. I could actually get rid of some of the other stuff, like the torpedo launchers that I'm probably never going to use. Uh, the depth charges I'll probably want to keep uh, to reduce weight and get me a little bit more speed, but it should be alright. I mean, our speed's going to be around 40 pretty much through most of the game, so we're alright. All Time to do circles, because I don't remember what the spawn order is. No, seriously, I don't remember what the spawn order is. Can you play other nations of destroyers? Yes, there are uh, minute differences between the nations uh, in terms of ship design, shape, armor, you know, weight limits, stuff like that. So some boats are just innately better than other boats, as one Enemy might expect. Spotted. Secondary objective added. That is not really the north. I mean, I know you said enemy cruisers coming from the north, but that's not really the north. It's the northwest. I'm probably going to hang around this little kind of outskirt island here on my left. Got a radar dish, battery, kind of stuff like that. Japan are probably the best. Uh, no, it really depends on what tier you're at. You know, Japan might be the best at tier 2 destroyers because of the shape of the boat. allows you to fit more stuff on it. But, you know, maybe British battleships are better. I don't actually remember what's better for what. It really depends on A, what you're doing with it, and B, the shape of the boat, mostly. Weight limit's not so much an issue as the shape of the boat is. Look at those sweet water effects. They just go right up onto that island. Also, it just kind of ends right there and drops off into the abyss. Realistic geography! This game doesn't exactly have the best land models, just in case you haven't noticed. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember which ones are best, but uh, there's probably guides on GameFAQs that will inform you which vessel at which point in the game is the best to use. I'm probably just going to use haphazardly random ones. Why do we not have games like this anymore? I don't really know why they stopped making these. Interestingly, this is nothing like the first game in the series. Really nothing like it. The first game in the series was kind of like a top-down strategy started. thing, Secondary where you would have uh, like a fleet of boats that you would control, and you could customize the fleet and stuff like that. So it was really cool. It didn't age very well. Yeah, look at that bombardment now. Oh, he's got missiles. Ooh. They appear to be unguided, but is that a missile? Enemy ship or a plane? Sunk. Oh, well, it's, it's definitely missiles. I think he's shooting at the ground units, actually. The radar dish or something. Enemy ship sunk. You're not dead. Please die. You. There's more boats. He's still not dead. Torpedo. That torpedo missed entirely. Hold Stop on. Engine. Reverse engine. Full speed ahead. What do you mean, out of range? They're not out of range. Give me that crap. Navy Field was actually pretty fun until it basically was horribly unbalancedly broken. The thing that... I turned right into that, didn't I? The thing I'm worried about with, like, World of Battleships or War Thunder is they're gonna be... You know, boring boats. You're not going to have the level of customization you have in this game. If you did, I would throw my money at them. But you're not going to. It's just going to be pick from this selection of parts that we've already given you. 
I realize it's easier. There's also a day-night cycle, if you haven't noticed that. There goes the moon. 